Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Uh, just a couple of minutes ago, I got a package in the mail uh, from Synology. This is the B-Link backup and storage solution. Uh, I have not opened this, this is still sealed, uh, and I thought we would take a look at this together. We'd unbox it, take a look, and go through the setup process and see just how good it really is. But before we actually get into the unboxing, let's take a look at their website here. This is b.synology.com, and it says uh, right here, all your work and memories in one place you can buy one of course we'll take a look at that um, they've got um, they've got a, a little how it works thing here we're just we're gonna plug it in it looks like um, and then we're gonna plug it in on that end and I assume we're gonna run some software just like that um, I am curious about whether or not it will auto run or if I'll have to download some software we're gonna find that out together as well um, we've got your personal backup hub stores up to 833,000 photos and 5.7 thousand videos of course that will depend which size device you get. I think, I'm not sure if it comes in a one and a two terabyte or just a two, whatever the case is, we're gonna find out. Uh, down here, of course, we've got more information. Real-time backup of important folders on your computer. That's pretty cool. Oops, what did that say? And while retaining up to the past five versions in case of accidental overwrites. So some 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 versioning, that's, that's pretty cool. I dig that. You can sync data between computers, switch between work and home without missing a beat. Simply plug in your B drive and it will automatically sync your last changes. I dig it. There's a B drive for mobile. I'm kind of curious about that. Backup photos wirelessly anytime. Uh, nice. All right. Well, we will take a look at that as well. We've got B drop. Uh, uh, you can B drop files from iOS slash Android to Windows. That's kind of cool. That might come in handy. Uh, access all your files from iOS high-speed storage, do, 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 and then, oh, here we go. All right, here's the in, inside of it, it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna get up to 10 gigs on type C. Of course, you wanna make sure that you're using a compatible connector to get that much bandwidth. Uh, up to two meters of drop protection. Of course, there's a little, little caveat there. Uh, let's keep going. All right, so there is a one terabyte and there's a two terabyte uh, for 119 and 199 respectively. And of course, I love this. Free shipping on orders over $200, but this is $199.99. Anyway, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but uh, but I will have links to all of this in the description as per usual. Uh, and of course, you can buy this at Amazon, uh, some FAQs, I think, I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and jump over to the other camera here and take a look at, uh, at the unboxing experience. Then we'll come back and uh, we'll get this thing plugged in and set up and see how it goes. Okay, so here we are. This is the B drive. This is the box. It's not very big. Um, you wouldn't expect it to be. It is just a small square hard drive. Um, your personal data keeper, uh, let B drive collect a copy of your work and memories. Two terabytes, nothing much else there. We got some more specs on the back, um, but I think this is all gonna be the same thing that we saw over on their website. So uh, let's, let's open this thing up. Of course, I'm probably opening those. There we go. Good enough. And this is just going to slide out. Of course, I opened it upside down because that's, that's how I do. Um, what do you think? There we go. All right, quick start guide, I dig that. Uh, we've got a type C cable, looks like to be about 0.3 meters or about a foot. And then we've got this A, A device. So it's an A to C, there's A on this side. I apologize, let's see if I can focus that. All right, there we go, A on this side and C on that side. So um, that's all that's over here. And of course we get a little, this is tiny. This is super tiny. Let's, let's, let's refocus. There we go. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and do this. All right. So let's let's focus here. There we go. So just some basic information on the back, uh, a little QR code, certifications, and whatnot, and then just some very very chill branding. I really dig that. That's just it's kind of a kind of a matte finish here and a bit of a gloss finish there. Very very um, discreet, and it doesn't need to be, but it is, and I dig it. Uh, and of course, right here we get our USB-C, and then right there we get a little indicator light. Of course, we'll take a better look at that here in a little bit, but that's it. That's that's all there is to this little device. So uh, so let's go ahead and get it plugged in and see what happens next. Okay, so we've, uh, we've got our USB-C cable here. We're gonna plug this in like so. Okay, we got a little flash there. Uh, over here on the computer, it is asking me what I wanna do, and of course, Go to my desktop. Okay, so it immediately recognized it as a B drive. Here is the online installer. So I appreciate that 
they put the application on there so you don't have to go try to find it online. You don't have to worry about, you know, some third party trying to emulate the software to, to, to do bad things to your system. It's just right there on here. I really appreciate that. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. All right, here we go. So here is the software and it says, I have read and agreed to the end user license agreement. You should probably read that. I'm not gonna, but you should. Um, and then you can help us improve the B drive experience by sending anonymous statistical data or diagnostic data, rather than where I got statistical, sure. Why not? Install now. So it's gonna go ahead and download uh, the software that it needs. And uh, then hopefully here it's installing already. So uh, fairly lightweight, I would assume. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, so here we are just a couple of minutes later, not even really, probably 90 seconds. And it's like, hey, your B drive's ready. What do you wanna do, start now or set up later? Well, come on, we wanna start now. So we're gonna click that. So it restarted uh, Explorer, which I thought was interesting. Uh, okay, we are still recording. Uh, so you can sign in, start your journey with B drive, backup, files your photos with your computer mobile device or sync between these with ease, sign in. All right, so now it wants me to sign in with my Synology account. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then once I'm done, we'll come back. Okay, so I'm signed in and now it's like, hello Jarvis, because that's what I named my, my, my first Synology. So apparently it just thinks that's my name. That's weird, whatever, doesn't matter. So we've got some options on what we can do here. The first one is computer backup, file sync or mobile transfer. And it says easily backup your files from your computer. Backup starts automatically every time you plug the B drive in. Uh, or this one says sync files between folders on B drive and your computer. Keep your files up to date across computers. And then this one, backup photos or send files from your mobile devices to B drive over Wi-Fi. That one intrigues me. Oh, this is just what you wanna to do today. Let's just click continue on, on the computer backup. And it's like, hey, what do you wanna back up? Uh, and it's got desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos by default. Those of course are the ones that you're most likely to want to back up. However, if you wanted to, you could come over here and choose uh, or select choose the folders you want and click next. And then it would give you an option to, to go through everything and select the things that you want to back up. I'm just gonna do the default for right now. Click next. And it's like, hey, uh, are you sure? This is what we're gonna do. Are you sure? Yep, I sure am. So, and it says, hey, progress, or check out the uh, what the B drive is working on now and click got it. And then we can check all right, so now, oh, it, it is, it says it is complete. C drive, users, DB tech, desktop. Of course, I don't have anything on my desktop. Documents, downloads, I don't believe that. That doesn't seem right. Do I really not have anything in my downloads? I do. Why didn't it back up my downloads? It should have backed up my downloads and it didn't. Oh, oh, it is, it, okay. Oh, now, okay, now it says backing up. I thought it said it was complete. That was my mistake, I got impatient. Um, so it is actively backing up. Uh, it says that right there, it tells us where we are, we can pause, gives us our status. If we come back over to our downloads folder right here, we can see, um, hey, this has been synchronized. If you've used other online backup solutions like Dropbox or OneDrive, OneDrive and, and Dropbox and all this do very similar things with these little indicators right here to let you know that they're either currently being backed up or if they've got the little check mark there that they are actively backed up. So. Super, super helpful. I appreciate seeing that. Um, I don't know that this will take too terribly long. My downloads folder, of course, is the biggest. Uh, it looks like it's downloaded or backed up right, everything up on my desktop. Documents is backed up. Downloads is backing up. Music, nothing there. Pictures, all of my pictures are backed up. So I dig that. I really, I really appreciate that. So I suppose at this point, uh, we're just gonna let this do its thing. Uh, it is, once it's done, um, we'll come back. And, uh, and we'll take a look. So uh, I'll see you in just a moment. A few moments later. Okay, so here we are just a few minutes later uh, and it looks like everything here is backed up. It says complete. I can pause the backup, which I don't want to do. Uh, we can get more done or we can go to home. So let's try get more done. Cool, so we backed this up. We could do a file sync. So basically, uh, if I wanted to install this same software on another computer and then go plug this drive into that computer, it would, it would synchronize the files. So yay. Uh, also this mobile transfer, and this is what I'm really curious about. I'm gonna click continue here, and then and download B Drive app, find it from the App Store, Google Play, uh, or the Synology Download Center. Uh, of course, I've got the uh, the Android sitting over here. Um, so let's let's go ahead and take a look at doing that. Okay, so uh, here we are, we're on my, my phone. I search for B Drive right here, it says B Drive. Uh, and right there, I'm gonna click install. We're gonna give this just a second 
to, uh, to do its thing. 30, 30 30.1. Oh, I don't want to do that. Come on. Do better. All right. Uh, so now it's installing. That's good. Nice and easy uh, installation there. I'm going to click OK or click Open, rather. Uh, of course, re read this. Uh, if you're not sure, I'm going to click Accept. And then we're going to click Start. Paired B Drive. Scan the QR code on B Drive for desktop. Pairing might take a while. All right. So I'm going to click Scan. I'm going to say while using the app. And then I'm going to come over to here. I'm going to scan that. Of course, I'll have to blur that later. And then it says backup all photos or backup new photos only. I do want to backup all of my photos. Again, we're going to do some testing with this. We're going to automatically use cellular data. No, I don't want to use cellular data. Um, backup on B drive, backup. Okay, this all looks good. We're going to click on start backup and we'll allow. Uh, backup and background. Great, let's, let's do that. And then we'll click allow. And now it says B drive is backing up both on my phone and over here uh, it says B drive is at work. So let's click here and there it goes. It is it is transferring and it seems to be doing it relatively quickly, uh, all things considered. Um, so that's 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 neat. I dig that. That's really cool. Let's go over here and here we go. We, so we've still got our installer. Uh, we've got our PC backup. We've got our mobile backup. Um, so in theory, it seems like you could use this to back up multiple PCs, multiple cell phones, multiple whatever, and synchronize those files between them as you needed to. So I really dig it. So uh, we've backed up our computer. We're backing up our phone. Uh, I think we're going to let the phone continue to back up. Once that has been completed, then we will um, we'll come back. We'll take a look at everything, make sure that everything looks correct. And uh, then I'll give my final thoughts on my first impressions of the B drive from Synology. A few moments later. Okay, guys, and here we are. Just a few minutes later, my phone is backed up. And uh, there we go. I was hoping it would do that. Come on, it, it, it'll catch up, I promise. Anyway, while it's doing that, I'm gonna jump back over to my desktop here. And I'm gonna minimize that because we don't care about this. Look, it says it's complete. That's awesome. So uh, here we can see that the OnePlus uh, 5 is backed up. My computer is backed up and it's got, you know, it's got the name right there. Uh, it's got the name of the desktop right there. Uh, if I come over, let me actually zoom in on this a little bit so we can see here we've got a mobile backup and a little phone icon and a PC backup and a little computer icon and of course our software. If we come into the mobile backup, there is my phone. And if I open that up, of course, then I can go in and see all of the stuff in there. And same thing with my PC. This is this specific PC. So if I were backing up multiple computers, they would each individually show up in this list of folders, right? So I come into here, my C drive, my users, there I am. There's, there's, there's my desktop, um, there's my downloads. It's all backed up and it was just, it was, I plugged it in, I installed the software, I said, choose these folders on these directories and it just did it. And, and I think that if I were to add additional files and folders, in fact, let's, let's see, let's go to documents. Oh, you know, let's go to documents there, right? And let's, let's go over to documents here. Again, just, just this going on. We're gonna say new, we're gonna say uh, text document test. And so right here, we can see that there's a little little thing. It's, it's, it's saying, hey, I'm working on that. But if we look over here, it's already there. Um, it just doesn't automatically, of course, as long as you've got the drive plugged into the computer that you're currently trying to, to back up and keep, keep actively backed up. So let's do, um, this is a test, save, exit. And look, just that quick, there we are on the B drive just that quick, it backed it up and it made sure that just instantly it had a good copy of the file I just modified. Now, of course, it's important to understand that uh, if you're, say, backing up a one kilobyte text file, of course, that's going to happen instantly. However, if you're backing up, uh, you know, a large um, video production uh, or a video project or an art project or something that might be several gigs, it is going to take longer to back up that particular uh, file or folder or whatever the case is. So just be reasonable with your expectations as far as uh, the backup speed that you're going to achieve. Again, whether it's a small picture or text file versus a large video file or 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 a project or something like that that may be uh, considerably larger in size. So um, so I'm I'm thrilled. I, this is great. Like I. I expected this, but basically it's it's it may end up replacing the the photos app that I currently use for my phone uh, that, that that goes over to my my Synology that's right over here. Um, so so basically my phone gets backed up 
almost in real time via the Photos app to my Synology so that, you know, like if I need something from my phone on a computer, I can just log into my Photos app on the computer and it's almost always there. And this with the B drive happened almost as fast. Um, and I love that. that. That's amazing. I really, really dig that. So um, super happy with that. One other thing that I want to touch on, because I'm sure it will come up. Um, and let's come back over to my desktop here. Uh, we're going to close the documents. This is, we're going to come back. This is our B drive. Like we, we agree on that, right? Uh, we've got our, our mobile, our PC, and our B drive installer. Um, if I want to, I can just create a new folder, right? Like I can use this not only... Uh, as a backup drive that, that's automated via the B, or the B drive software, but it's also just an external two terabyte drive that I can manually drop, uh, drag and drop files and folders over. I can manually create files and folders here. Um, so this is, this runs kind of double duty. Of course, the double duty is largely in part do the B drive uh, software, but uh, I really dig it. I think this is amazing. I think for the price, um, you know, like 119 for the one terabyte and 199 for the two terabyte, um, those prices may change. So definitely check out their website. I'll have links to everything in the description down below, but definitely check out their website if you're interested in a very, very simple backup solution from Synology. Again, this is this is the B drive uh, right there. Uh, and it's it's tiny. It's super, super tiny. And again, very sleek, really dig it. So again, links to everything in the description. Uh, also, quick disclaimer that I should have made earlier. Synology did send this to me. Uh, no money was exchanged. Uh, I didn't, I'm not getting paid for this. Uh, I don't have to send this back. Um, I'm just giving an honest review, uh, my first impressions of the device. Um, and I think they've hit the nail on the head. I think this is a great device. Um, but I just wanted to, do, to, to declare that yes, this was provided to me. However, uh, I get to say what I wanna say and I'm not getting paid for any of this. So if you'd like to support me for not getting paid for some of this, uh, there are some, also some links in the description down below where you can find different ways to support the channel, whichever way best suits you, even if it's just leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video.